Welcome back, final leg. We're here to talk about the NCAA championships going down starting tomorrow. So we're just gonna predict the sprints, jumps, and hurdles. So first off, the men, we have to talk about that men's 100 meters. Favorite here, there's a clear favorite, but let's jump to the third place. First off, Javante Harding from North Carolina a &T. So he won the 200 meters indoors, but he's been dropping his 100 meter personal best a couple times throughout the season. And I think he's poised for a very quick time when we get to Eugene, Oregon this weekend. So I'm picking him for third place. Second place, Favor Ash competes for Tennessee, also from Nigeria. He's super, super young. He got third place indoors in the 60 meter dash. He's the SEC champion, but he ran that windy 9.79 second run, right? That was an amazing performance. It was windy, but still 9.79 seconds is a huge fast time and he's been extremely consistent. So I'm picking favor Ash to get that second place. In first place, I think everyone knows the clear favorite here, Makai Williams from Oregon. He is the absolute clear favorite. He has been super consistent. He's undefeated in the 100 meters all year a legal 9.86 second um, performance in the 100 meters, multiple times under 10 seconds. So he he's unstoppable. If he loses the race, I mean, the only thing that could stop him from losing is probably a false start like we saw indoors. But I think he's gonna really take a win here. And of course we saw him win races against professional athletes, right? He won at Mount Sac earlier in the season. Makai Williams, definitely the clear favorite in that men's 100 meters. Of course, a couple other guys, Matt Bowling. I'm not picking him to win a, uh, to get top three here. He might get fourth, fifth, or he may even finish a little bit lower. I'm not really confident about Matt Bowling in 100 meters, but we'll see where he finishes. Of course, we have to talk about uh, Joseph Van Boulay. He's better at the 200, but he'll be in the mix there, probably in the final. Udodi Onuzurike competes for Stanford, super young. He's definitely gonna be in the mix. Ismail Kone, Terrence Jones. There's a lot of guys who are gonna be in the mix in that men's 100 meters, but Makai Williams, Favor Ash, and Javante Harding, that's my top three. Jumping down to the 200. Now here is where we have some big guns. We gotta talk about that top three again. Javante Harding from North Carolina a &T. So again, he's the indoor champion, but I think because he's been dropping his 100 meter personal best this season, it's going to bode very well for his 200 meters. He's only run 20.16 this year, but again, I think he has that potential to potentially go under 20 seconds. We might see him do that. I'm picking him for third place here. So he's gonna double up in that 100 and 200 getting thirds. Now, Udodi Onuzurike for Stanford. He also competes for Nigeria, but he's a freshman for Stanford. He's a world junior champion at 200 meters, and he's run 20.08 seconds. He's actually been significantly improving his personal best in the 100 and 200 meters. He's also very fast over the 100, and he's been super consistent in the sprints. I'm picking him to get that 200 meter second place. And then of course, Joseph Fambule for Florida, defending champion at the 200 meters from last year. He also, he's already run 19.92 seconds this year as well. And he has a windy time of 19.85 seconds. All he needs is really a good start, right? We know his start is super, super slow, but that second half is extremely fast. So I think Joseph Fambule, he's gonna get this 200 meter win. He's been improving in his 100 meters as well. So definitely keep a lookout for him. Again, on the outside looking in, Matthew Bowling. He's run 19.92 seconds in the 200 meters, but I'm not really fully sold on him. I think he might be able to get fourth place. He might be able to get third, I don't know, but I'm not fully sold on picking him for the top three. Um, his form is just too all over the place. He looks like he's struggling. He's improved a little bit, but I'm just not really, he's a little too erratic for me, but he, he definitely could be a dark horse there. Uh, we also have to look at Dorian Camel, Courtney Lindsay. Uh, we have Devin Achane, right? There's a couple guys in the 200, but Fambule, Onuzurike, and Harding, that's my top three for the 200. Jumping up to that men's 400, of course, another clear favorite here, but jumping from third to first, we have champion Allison from Florida. I think he's gonna get third. His best this year is 44.74 seconds. That's his only sub 45 second time, but he is the SEC champion. His form is a bit rough, right? His arms filling, he's kind of all over the place, but he looks to be poised for something fast. I think Allison is gonna get that uh, third place finish. Second place, Jonathan Jones from Texas. He's been going back and forth 800 and 400 meters. He's actually been very consistent under 45 seconds. He ran 44.43, 44.79, and 44.85 seconds. Big 12 champion, and he's only focusing on the 400. So he's not doing the 800 at NCAAs. Keep a lookout for Jonathan Jones. I think he's gonna get second place. And of course, like we all know, similar to the 100 meters, 
Favorite in the 400, Randolph Ross, North Carolina a &T. 2021 champion at the 400, ran 43.85 last year to win that NCAA champs. Of course, made it to the Tokyo Olympic Games. This year, already ran 44.23 seconds to win the East Regional prelims. Um, and he's an NCAA champion indoors already. So clear step ahead of the rest of the guys. I think Randolph Frost is going to take the win here. He might be able to run something very, very fast. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll definitely keep a lookout. I think he's going to run sub 44. A couple other guys, of course, Elijah Godwin from Georgia. He's always been a threat. Um, Javon Powell, right? He can, he's run 44.87 seconds this year. He has a few 45 second times though as well. So definitely pretty consistent. And Ja'Cory Patterson competes for Florida, used to run for Virginia Tech. He's been a bit sporadic, but he's dropped his short sprint times, his 100 and his 200 meter personal best. So I think that's gonna bode very well for his 400 meters. Now, jumping over to the hurdles for the men's side, 110 meter hurdles, third place, Eric Edwards. I think he's really gonna step things up and get a, a third place here. He's an SEC champion. He's run 13.28 seconds this year. He also has times of 13.34, 13.41, and 13.43. So the consistency is on point. I think um, Eric Edwards is gonna get that third place. Second place, Joshua Zeller. Also another consistent performer. He ran 13.19 seconds to win the Big Ten Championships. He also ran 13.39 seconds into a negative 1.9 meter per second headwind at the prelims. So he is a strong number two, but he could get caught up if he's not too careful and end up a little bit back. But I think Zeller is gonna get that second place. And of course, we all know Trey Cunningham, Florida State. He's the clear number one. There's absolutely no debate. At the regional prelims, he ran 13.01 seconds into a negative 1.5 meter per second headwind. He might break the collegiate record. He's very likely going to break the collegiate record if there's some good um, if there's some good weather. He might even run low 12.9. That wouldn't surprise me. But Trey Cunningham, clear number one here. A couple other guys to take a look at, right? Um, Malik Kendall, he's been very consistent. Jamar Marshall, he's a Pac-12 champion, ran 13.39. And Kentre Patterson, he ran he's second place at Pac-12s, ran 13.39 seconds as well this year. So that's the men 110 meter hurdles. On to the men's 400 meter hurdles, finishing things up on the track. Muy Tale Mpoke competes for Texas A&M. He's run 48.84 seconds this year already. He was fifth place in the NCAA last year in the 400 meter hurdles. He also has times of 49.15 and 49.28 seconds. Also the SEC champion, I think Mpoke is a very strong contender. I'm picking him for third place. Second place, Nathaniel Ezekiel competes for Baylor. He's the NCAA leader this year at 48.42 seconds. He's also run 49.14, 49.31, and 49.33. So that low 49 second range, he is super consistent in. Very fast, he's the Big 12 champion, He's only a freshman as well, so he has a lot of room for improvement. Even if he doesn't uh, you know, compete very well here, he has a lot of years ahead of him, but I'm picking him for the second place finish. And then first place, Isaiah Livingston. Now, you can kind of switch all these guys up, but I'm picking Isaiah Livingston from Oklahoma to get the win here. He was second place last year to Sean Burrell. Of course, Burrell, you know, he got injured. He made it to the national championships. He's gonna be running, but he hasn't been as consistent and, you know, he hasn't really been there. I think Livingston is gonna step things up and take the win here. Personal best of 48.49 seconds, but this year his best is 48.82 seconds. Also has run 49.22 and 49.24 seconds. So I really think this is gonna be Livingston's year, but don't be surprised if any of these guys kind of switch positions. A lot of them are really close together. Of course, I mentioned Burrell, right? He's a kind of long shot. Again, he got injured, so we're not exactly sure what kind of form he's in, but also have to talk about Jordan Bacot from Houston. He's the number two in the NCAA this year with 48.72 seconds, and he got ninth place last year. So he's significantly improved, definitely one to look out for. And Malik Mativer competes for Texas Tech. He's run 48.98 seconds. So that's the 400 meter hurdles, Levingston, Ezekiel, and Mpoke. I think that's the top three there. Now, let's head over to the jumps. First off, I have Kerry McLeod from Tennessee getting the third place in the men's long jump. He was second place indoors, and he was actually third last year outdoors. So I think he's gonna stick in that same third place spot. He has a personal best of 8.34 meters, 
but this year his best is only 8.07 meters indoors and 7.99 meters outdoors. I think he's really gonna step things up. He's not in the top five um, in terms of marks outdoors, but I think he's gonna step things up and get into that third spot at nationals. In second place from Florida State, we have Isaac Grimes. Now, he also finished second place last year. So similar to McLeod, who got third last year, I'm picking Grimes for second this year. He's an ACC champion though. He also has jumped 8.03 meters this year. He has a personal best of 8.35 meters. So he has some strong credentials. He's been pretty consistent. I think Grimes is going to get that second place. First place from Tennessee, McLeod also from Tennessee, but Pinnock, his teammate from Tennessee, is going to get that win. He's the indoor champion at the long jump. He's an SEC champion this year, personal best this year of 8.06 meters, and he's been super consistent. He's jumped 8.02 meters. He's jumped 8.05 meters. So I think Wayne Pinnock is going to get that NCAA win in the men's long jump. Couple other guys, Brandon Hickling competes for North Carolina a &T. He's actually the NCAA leader this year, 8.18 meters, but he is unfortunately not consistent at all. His next best performance is only 7.80 meters. So the consistency is not there. Johnny Brackens, number two in the NCAA this year, 8.06 meters, but also not consistent. That's what I'm really looking for, that consistency. So Pinnock number one, Grimes number two, McLeod number three. Finishing things off, in that men's triple jump. We have a couple guys, this can mix up, but I think there's some really strong contenders here. Third place, my pick for third is Relazan Brumfield, competes for Tennessee State. His best this year, his personal best is 16.65 meters. He was second place indoors, but he's not as consistent as some of the other guys that I'm gonna know. So I think he's gonna be solid, about third place. He might get fourth if he's not too careful, but I think he's solid, I'm picking him for third. Second place, Emmanuel Imeje competes for Oregon. He's the indoor NCAA champion in the triple jump. And he's also the 2021 champion. So he's doubling back. 2021 outdoor champion, 2022 indoor champion. His personal best of 17.26 meters came last year. And then this year indoors, he jumped 17.14 meters. Outdoors, he's only at 16.90 meters, but I think Imeje is going to get the second place performance here. First place in that men's triple jump, I'm looking at Mapaya from TCU. He's an NCAA leader, 17.07 meters. He's very consistent in the high 16 meter jumps as well. He's jumped 16.84 meters, 16.80 meters. Actually, two times he jumped 16.80 uh, meters. He's only third indoors at the NCAA championships. He was second place last year, but again, I think this is gonna be his year. Look out for Mapaya from TCU. Couple other guys to note, right? Some little highlights. We have Kashawn King from Stanford, 16.77 meters, but really not consistent at all. That's his only 16 meter jump. This is kind of his foray into the triple jump. He has a lot of improvement to go. He has a lot of room for growth. So we're gonna see a lot more from King as the years go on. And then of course, Sean Dixon Bodie from LSU. He's jumped 16.64 meters. He's an SEC champion and the East prelim champion. But again, I think that consistency comes into play. Um, so we might see him play into the podium. But that's the men's triple jump. We're looking at Brumfield, Ihimeje, as well as Mapaya from TCU. TCU gonna get that win there. So those are the men's performances. Those are my top three. Let me know who your top three are, right? The competition is just gonna be starting off. Just give me your sprints, jumps, and hurdles. Let me know what you think about the relays, the four by one, the four by four. We're gonna see some amazing performances there. Of course, Florida breaking the NCAA record already. We're gonna probably, I don't know if we'll see that again, but let me know what you all think. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you check out the women's. Gonna be posting that as well. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again next time. Thanks.